Oh my god, I just set that mailbox as the head. Oh, guys! Oh my god! Princess Diana is wearing this. This is more than a birthday hat. are back with another episode of the royal family this is number 80 no no this is not number 86 this is number 96 of the royal family i cannot believe how many episodes we've done at the royal family you guys it's crazy i cannot believe we're gonna get to 100 soon it's gonna be so so exciting i am very excited for this episode because we are going to do a few things we're gonna do a lot of things actually so as you guys can see we are first starting out here at the royal family of willow creek's palace so because we are going to age up first thing i want to do is age up princess genevieve so actually why don't we just go ahead and like jump into it and i'll kind of explain things as we go so let's see who should we should probably have your mother age you up and then corinne she is in her third trimester so she is going to be having her third baby very soon i think that's it i think three babies is enough for them so i think that'll be good after that so we're gonna have her age up princess genevieve so yeah there's several things i want to do in this episode there's several things i want to discuss and talk about and kind of like lead things in to we're going to go over comments from the last episode um so i can kind of see what you guys said because i think a lot of it is very good points and very important and i do like to address the comments so we're going to do that we're going to age up princess genevieve we're also going to age up princess diana in this episode i think we're going to age up princess kimberly of oasis springs as well and then i think people will just people i think the they will just be having the babies kind of like as the episode progresses because i think it'll notify us when they do have their babies oh okay so princess genevieve she aged up so let's do a random trait so she oh she's also clingy oh my gosh uh, no, i don't want her to be clingy because uh, oh okay she's fussy i was gonna say i don't want her to be clingy because prince cornelius is already clingy so i feel like that would just be too much. I would feel so bad for them if they're both clingy. Okay, so this is Princess Genevieve. I we're gonna we're gonna change her outfit first. So yeah, we're gonna do this. I just want to kind of like pick her outfit. I only just like pick one thing, so I do very basic things. So we'll just do this really quickly. Okay, guys, so this is Princess Genevieve. Oh, is she cute or what? She is actually adorable. I love this hair on her too. So She's so cute. And then I did, I only did like her everyday outfit. So I'll play around with her other outfits later. But guys, she's adorable. She's got the same color hair as her father. Whereas Cornelius has the same color hair as his mother. So it's just cool to kind of see them all like, like with like who they look like, like which parents they look like and all of that. So oh guys, she's super cute and I love her a lot. Okay. So next we are going to, well, okay. First I want to address this. So I did have someone point out to me a while ago that I should add more townies to my game because like people in the background because they were saying that we only see royals and nobles oh also guys so this keeps coming up and i don't know how bad this is i ended up like backing up all my saves and stuff because i didn't want it to be a problem and for some reason some reason ruined my game i assume it's because of like a mod or something i did update my mods after the uh what's it called after the after the update i updated my mods after the update um so i just i don't know i updated mc command center but that was the only one i think that said that needed updating i have like slice of life i have the monarchy mod but i couldn't find updates for any of them so i couldn't find what's causing this if anyone else has this problem and knows how to fix it please let me know it's, pr it's probably a mod or, or custom content or something so that does stink but hopefully we'll be able to fix it soon and hopefully it's not too much of an issue because i have this mod that someone sent to me that like helps you like figure out what's causing things but i can't figure out how to make it work in my game because it's in my mods folder but it doesn't show up for some reason so i need to figure that out as well anyway okay so back to the townies thing so as someone said that we need more townies so i was thinking because i don't want to make a bunch but they were just saying like like we have like the townies that like come from the sims but I guess, I don't know, I guess they wanted to see something else, but that makes a good point. So I want to open it up to you guys. If you guys, if you guys do want to make townies for the Royal Family series, use the hashtag mirror ray townies in the gallery, upload them to the gallery and I will, I'll, I'll, I'll add them to the game. They're not going to be like, we're not going to really focus on them and there probably won't be very many interactions with them at all, but you kind of like see them in the background when we like go to public places and all that stuff too. So it'll be fun for you guys. I feel like, so definitely just use that hashtag i would if you guys are able to i would prefer sims that are like dressed in like the style of the different worlds so 
I mean, there's so many different worlds that you can do, but like, just not like leather jackets and like spiked and like blue hair and like all that stuff, just preferably. But I mean, it's fine if you want to, but if I see Sims like that, I might add them to like my Dynasty game or, or my Legacy Challenge game instead. So if you want to specify in the description too, like which series it's for, you guys can do that as well. But yeah, use the hashtag MirrorRayTownies. I'll put that into the, in the description below too. So yeah, okay, so I wanted to go over that. Okay, and then also, if I hadn't mentioned this already, since the last episode, we are going to focus on that storyline, our little plot twist with the Mira. So we are going to get to that in this episode as well. So we are going to try, oh no, not the gallery. Okay, so I do actually want to age up Princess Kimberly. So we're going to do that. So we are at the Oasis Springs Pals. And as you guys can see, I did change Princess Arya's outfit a little bit and her hair. So this is her new outfit and she looks so cute, you guys. She's so adorable. I am very excited to see what Kimberly's gonna look like. Also, Naya is supposed to be having her baby very, very soon. I think we're all going to invite them over for Diana's birthday party. So hopefully we'll just have all of them in the same place and then maybe they'll just all have their babies there because I have like three sims that are pregnant at the moment so I think that's probably what we're gonna end up doing so I am going to have a Prince Philip he is going to be the one to age up Princess Kimberly so we'll have him do that but yeah guys I I love them so much I do want them to have at least four kids I think so she'll probably have another baby after this one I think the Oasis or not the Oasis I think the royal family of Sulani is Probably. Oh wait, I'm totally missing this. Okay, they are aging up Princess Kimberly now, and she is. Okay, she's here. Okay, so randomized straight. Let's see. She is going to be inquisitive. I like that a lot, actually. So she is inquisitive. So she is now a toddler, you guys. I am. I mean, like her hair is fine. I think I'm just going to keep this for now, and then we will go ahead and go. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't think we need to like change her outfit and everything now. I don't want to spend too much time on this because I do want to get to a lot of other stuff because I want to get to like our story stuff because well I'll go through the comments too from the last video. Okay so we are going to the royal family of Windenburg. Also guys you guys can see the outside of our new palace. It's being renovated currently inside so I'm excited. It looks so good just from like this view. I'm not sure if I might make the walls a little bit darker because it is like very bright but I also like that it's very bright because it's like the palace. Like I feel like it should stick out so I don't know. I think it's cool but I'll show you guys that when I am when I'm almost done I don't I'll probably have them move in before it's like officially finished just because I want them to move in when like summer's over but I think for now it, there's still a lot that needs to be done I just want to play around those with like the new stairs that just came up with that just came with the update so I think that'll be a lot of fun too and that'll look really good in the palace okay so the comments from the last episode oh guys this thing it keeps coming up it's really annoying. Oh, maybe I should have Princess Amir. Okay, well, okay, I'll go over comments in a little bit. So, actually, no, I'll go over comments now. <laughs> I just don't want someone to have their baby. Like, Princess Belle is here, and she's supposed to be having her baby very, very soon. So, Princess Belle, and then her cousin Sadira is also here. So, yeah, anyway, okay, so in the last episode, you guys saw that basically Amira and, the short version, Amira and Johan, they kissed, and then they, it was so weird, and they just kind of got in this argument because they were so uncomfortable because Johan was in love with May, and then Amira and Johan both felt weird about it because Amira is May's sister. And then Kellen saw the whole thing and he feels so bad for his sister. He loves his sister so much and he does not want her and Johan to like go through that stress of like having like being forced to be married. It's like a very uncomfortable situation. And I and I think that he secretly like like most of his life like has not really found any like joy in being the king like he doesn't think he would want to be the king so I, he's never admitted that to anyone but he, I feel like he thought that was like a really good time to bring it up and then her father Henry too was kind of like uncomfortable about the whole thing as well so he was like kind of on he was he was pretty much on board I feel like he didn't he wasn't naming Amira like the heir when she was first born because his father, King George, had such a big influence on him and King George was so old fashioned. So he was like, a male needs to be the heir, not, not like a female. So I feel like that's what where Henry's kind of ideals came from. And then when like time started changing and his father died, like his, his father wasn't motivating his thinking anymore. So then he, but then he also didn't want to like take away like Kellen being the heir if he had already been like, Four in the air technically so when Kellen brought that up to his attention he was very happy and he was on board then they brought over Johan's father Jared and and uh, Princess Anna which is King Henry's sister because she has three girls so they asked them if they would be okay to like because oh god sorry this is so much guys because King George 
he made King Jared promise that one of King Jared, like the heir, King Jared's heir would marry one of King George's grand, great grandchildren, grandchildren, no wait, great grandchildren, no. Grandchildren, yes, grandchildren. Um, so he made him do that. So, but like, ideally, it was Amira or May, but clearly that didn't happen. So Belle already got married, and but then Anna has three girls, so it could be one of her girls because they're younger than Johan, but they're not that much younger than Johan is. So sorry, guys, that was a lot. Anyway, so that all happened in the last episode. So Amira, they told Amira that if she wants to, she can be the queen when King Henry is no longer the king. And so she, it's been a few days since all this happened, so Amira's still thinking about it, but I think she's leaning towards this because I feel like secretly she's wanted this her whole life, which I feel like is why she acted out so much as a child. So, anyway, okay, all right, comments. Oh, and then another thing that also happened was that Kellen misses Princess Megan, his ex-girlfriend, and he was, like, trying to confess his feelings to her, and then Megan wasn't, like, into it, and she kind of brushed him off, and we don't know if it's because she doesn't want to be queen or because she's, like, completely not into Prince Kellen. So, we'll have to see. But, I mean, if she doesn't want to be queen, then this fixes the whole thing if Amira becomes queen. So that's one solution. But we don't know if she actually just doesn't like him. So we'll find that out too. Okay, so someone was saying that they don't see a spark with Kellen and Megan. Um, and they think that it's best that Kellen finds a princess, the right one for him. And then someone else was saying that, well, if Megan doesn't want to be queen, but Kellen is not going to, going to be king, then maybe they could end up together because they really want them to end up together. Which I, I think they're really cute. I think they'd be really cute together too. Oh, and then someone said that, because I asked in the last episode, I didn't know if you guys preferred like seeing all the marriages and babies or if you guys really did prefer like the storyline and everything and then someone said I would like it where you take five ep episodes of story time and then two or three episodes of weddings and baby making because you can have your slow progression and also have the babies at, at the next generation at the same time which oh shoot Prince Charles just lost a celebrity level I forgot to freeze his fame um so that is I actually really love that they said that because I was curious as to oh my gosh sorry I can't multitask right now so I like that they said that because I like wasn't sure where you guys were at with that we'll probably alternate between between, like stories and like right now I'm kind of mixing the stories and like aging up. I feel like I can't really hold off the aging up because I feel like sometimes that happens anyway but I can hold off like some of the marriages and stuff like that like to take time to do stories and episodes so I'll kind of alternate those. Another good point that someone made is that they feel like Kellen needs a good reason to abdicate the throne. Technically he's not abdicating the throne that's what I realized I said. He's not technically abdicating because he's not king so abdicating means that a king is giving up the throne but he's abdicating his title as heir, if that makes sense. So he's not king yet, but he's the heirs, but he wants to make Amira the heir because he loves his sister, not because, yeah, anyway. Okay, so they were saying that they feel like Kellen needs a good reason to abdicate because they feel like if it was a country that people would want to know why, maybe he's too depressed or maybe a, something because of his sister's death, but someone went, but someone just wanting to abdicate the throne to give someone else because they because the country would be confused and asking too many questions. So that's a very good point. I do feel- Oh my god, Princess Bellatrix, you lost your celebrity level too! <laughs> Uh, you know what? I'll take care of that later. It's fine. Um, so I that is a good point I was kind of thinking that they would just tell everyone like Kellen would tell everyone that he thinks his sister Amira Like they're like the beloved princess like Amira like even though she's had her scandals like they the country has like seen her grow So he feels like his sister would be a better ruler than him and He just has yeah, he's just like been through a lot because of his sister and his um, and, and because of the death of his sister and his mother. So, I, I mean, I don't know. I feel like that's a pretty good reason. I understand. If, like, there was a ruler who was saying, like, this person's more fit to rule and, like, they're a good person and a good candidate, I'd be like, okay, like, that takes a grown person to say that. So, that's one other good point. People were saying, like, what if Amira doesn't even marry or have children? And then maybe, like, Johan would, would name his daughter Alice May. I, I do want Amira to have children, although I have no idea who she's gonna marry now if she does end up just becoming the queen. Oh, guys! Okay, so Princess Belle just had a baby guy. Oh, her last name, it's, it's Sue, but it's actually supposed to be Brindleton, so I think I might have forgotten to change their names. But guys, Princess Belle had a baby girl. I feel like there's a lot of baby girls. Like, it's, yeah, yeah, we've got a lot of baby girls, like way more girls than boys in this generation. So let me look at some baby names. So someone has been begging me to name one of the baby girls, Ariana or Adriana. Oh, I like both, actually. Maybe, maybe Ariana. I like that. 
a lot. So, and then actually, so she's going to be a lady because even though both of her parents are a prince and a princess, they're not like kings and queens. So she's not technically a princess. She is a lady. So we're going to do Lady Ariana. So yeah. Okay. So that's Princess Belle's first baby, you guys. Oh, that's so cool. We'll get to see her later on. But I like how I'm just like doing story time and then like suddenly babies are being born. <laughs> that's fine. Um, and then we will, uh, we will be doing the uh, Princess Diana as like a, a small birthday party and like inviting people over as well. I feel like they haven't told Kellen like their their situation yet until Amira agrees because I feel like they're leaving this up to Amira. They're not really leaving it up to Johan, which kind of stinks, but I feel like it's 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 a big big decision for Amira. But I feel like Amira and Johan haven't talked since the kiss and things are just awkward between them. And I think they're both thinking like this is not going to work. Oh, Okay, well now everyone's at work and <laughs> everyone's at school. I do want to age up Princess Diana. So I am just going to have, I, I get, I'll probably just have King Henry invite some people over. So we'll do a birthday party because I'm pretty sure I already had Kellen make the cake. Yeah, okay, I already have a cake ready. I put candles on it so no one can take the birthday cake. Okay, so King Henry has just invited over lots of friends and family. So I, I did pick out like outfits it's like all black outfits for them but apparently it didn't show up but that that's fine okay guys so diana's finally aging up i was thinking about this too because i was like i i wanted i was thinking about having her and cornelius get together but then also princess kimberly of oasis springs could also get with prince cornelius so there's got a few different options she's really not that much older than cornelius is because think about it she died the day that may died and okay, technically it, it's been more than a few years. If she's aging up into a child, like technically it'd be like three or four years, but I feel like it's been like one year. Like I know that doesn't make sense with like the way the Sims thing works, but but Cal, uh, what's his name? Uh, Prince Cornelius is already like a toddler too. So I feel like it's fine, but yeah, I, I really don't think she's that much older than him. And I mean, I don't think it matters too much either. So, but anyway, like with Sims, when you give them like, or, oh no, wait, oh my God. I just set that mailbox as the head. Oh guys, oh my God. Princess Diana is wearing this. This is more than a birthday hat. Oh my God, God I have to get rid of this. <laughs> All right, reset. Oh my god, now there's just this gigantic mailbox. Oh my god, I haven't done that in a long time. I did that when I like first got... <laughs> Alright, anyway, okay, well, that happened. We're just going to pretend that didn't happen. Um, what was I doing? I completely forgot what I was talking about. I do not want to set it as head. I was just trying to fill the needs of people, so that's... No, wait, 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 who's pregnant? Is that Lady Hel... <gasps> god, wait, wait. Lady Helena's pregnant? I didn't do that. <gasps> Wait, did MC Command Center, did they do that? Wait, that's Lady Helena? Oh, I thought Lady, I thought her sister Lady Katarina was pregnant. I did not realize Lady Helena was pregnant. Okay, well, I guess Lady Helena and, and Prince Michael are having another baby, so that's interesting. I did not make that happen, but anyway, okay. Um, So let's go ahead then and age up Princess Diana because I want to see what she's going to look like as a child. I'm so excited to see what she's going to look like as a child, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to have Kellen help her blow out the candles. Okay, so Princess Diana is now aging up, you guys, into a child. I'm so excited to see what she's going to look like, you guys. Okay, so she's aged up okay princess diana aged up so she was fussy so ooh, what should she be if she was fussy i'm trying to think maybe like hot head what i don't even know what fussy means like they just like cry a lot or they talk to you a lot and they won't leave you alone maybe she's like talkative or like goo no maybe probably not goofy or i don't know um outgoing sweet mean let's do random and see what ha random music lover okay that's not really a social interaction i was thinking of but that's fine okay well if she likes music then maybe she is aspiring to be an artistic prodigy so we will choose that for her okay i need to change her outfit so we're gonna do that now okay guys so this is princess diana she's so pretty you guys she's so cute i've never had a princess with red hair before which is surprising to me so she is super cute i am keeping her in the dark clothes because i well i thought i had the the all black clothes for them oh i do I, I i'm not a huge fan of this anyway so i'll probably just end up deleting that but i was trying to like come up with 
outfits for them that were like all dark because of like them being in mourning for Princess May. But it's hard. There's really not that many all black outfits or just black or dark outfits for children. So that was kind of difficult. So that might be an issue, but I'll figure that out later. But anyway, yeah, so this is Princess Diana. I did pick like uh, like an alternative out outfit for her for when they are not in mourning anymore, but I don't actually know when that's gonna be. I think the family might stop being in mourning at some point. I don't know if Kellen and Amira are going to be right away. It's going to be hard. I don't even know like when to figure out when that transition period is. So anyway, okay, so yeah, that's Princess Diana, you guys. She's super cute and super pretty and I love her a lot. Oh guys, this is going to get annoying. I want to figure out what that error code game, well, they just like sat down at the exact same, same time. That was really kind of freaky. Oh guys, they look so pretty. I did pick this new outfit for Amira. I think it looks really good on her too. So I love it a lot. Okay, so guys, I feel like Amira has officially decided that she, cause I feel like she's talked to Kellen, like, are you sure? Like, you want to do this? Like, you don't have to do this because of me. Like, cause I don't think Kellen's really ever told her that he didn't want to be king, but I feel like now he's saying like, no, I've seriously never wanted to be king. Like, I think you'd be a way better ruler. Like, I don't have interest in doing this. Like, I just want to be free, I feel like. So I think that since Kellen has convinced her, I think that Amira is going to tell her father that she wants to do this because I feel like they're going to use this opportunity to tell everyone, like all their family and friends, and they're going to have to like put out some sort of decree or pro proclamation of like saying that like Amira is going to be the crown princess. So that's going to be a huge thing, guys. I still can't believe that Lady Helen is pregnant, you guys. I'm pretty sure I did not do that, but I also had that off on the MC command center. Maybe she just gets pregnant, like because of Jay. I didn't do that, and I didn't have that on in the MC command center at all and I didn't have teenage pregnancies turn on and then just her and Michael had a baby out of wedlock as teenagers and then now she's pregnant again and I didn't do that so maybe it's just like a bug with her sim that is so weird I really I'm glad she didn't just like start shooting out babies after a J though because that would be just a lot of children I would not know how to fix that or how to figure that out so I'm glad she didn't do that but she is pregnant again I really hope Michael's the father I hope so because I hadn't even made them woohoo when they had a J, so that was interesting. But anyway, okay, so Amira, I think, well, I thought she was talking to her father. I don't, I'm, I guess they already talked. To them. Oh, and then Anna is here too. I'm pretty sure Jared and, oh, yep, King Jared's here too. So I think they're going to go talk to King Jared and we're going to have them officially tell him that they are breaking off the engagement with Johan because Amira is going to become the Queen of Windenburg. I feel like he, Jared is just going to be so happy for Amira because he's watched this girl grow up. Like, he kind of yelled at her when he, he was kind of out of line for doing so. But he, he thought she was flirting with someone else when he was engaged, when she was engaged to his son. But it turns out his son was already having an affair with May. So he just felt so bad. So he forgave Amira and then they got really close. And then now he's not going to have her as a, as a, a, a daughter-in-law anymore, guys. So I think he is upset about that. But I feel like he's just like happy for her too. So, and I think we're also going, oh, and then yeah, Aurora and Sadira and all of them are here. I'm sure that the girls might have like had a crush on Johan growing up. I'm kind of interested to see. We're gonna have to take an episode just to see like who he clicks with the most. Also, Megan is here, guys. Megan is here. I feel like Kellen, well, we have to wait until Amira, like until they announce it because she, well, maybe he should give her a heads up beforehand because when she announced it, she's gonna be like, wait, what the heck? Kellen's not gonna be king anymore? Like, yeah, maybe he, okay, he should talk to her. Okay, so Amira was just talking to Jared and King Henry and King Jared looks really, really happy, you guys. I think he's, he's happy for Amira and I'm sure he's going to want to get to know. I'm sure Anna probably brought this up to her daughters before it was just announced here, just to give him a heads up. She's probably, they probably need to tell Anna about this now too, that this is going to officially be a thing. They just need to like tell people before they announce it. Cause you don't want to like surprise anyone. Okay, so it looks like Kellen got stuck in a group conversation with Megan and his cousins, Sadira and Aurora. Wait, is that Aurora or is that Ezra? That is Ezra, okay. So yeah, that's our Ezra. Oh, guys, I like the blues of their dresses. That's really, really pretty. So this is Ezra, that's, uh, that's Princess Anna's oldest daughter. And then we have Lady Sidira, who is Princess Anna's youngest daughter. 
And then I think her middle child is here somewhere. Aurora's here. That's her husband, Marky, uh, Marshall. That's his name. Um, so they're here somewhere. Okay, guys, so I added a podium here because I want King Henry to make this announcement to everyone. So we're gonna have him give a speech, an energized speech, because I feel like he's feeling super excited about this. He's like just so happy that his kids are happy, I feel like. Like, I feel like he really is a caring father. I think his father, King George, just had like a big influence on, on his decision making. But anyway, so King Henry's giving a speech and I have Amira and Kellen who went to go see him. I think everyone else needs to come in here. King Jared knows what's going on. Okay, so basically he's announcing to everyone. I wish I could just have everyone gather here, but it does not look like that's going to happen. Okay, so yeah, I think we have told everyone now what's going to happen. I feel like it's official now, guys. So now King Henry is officially naming Princess Amira as the crown princess so she's going to be first in line for the throne. I'm so excited. I think she totally deserves this too. So we're going to end this episode here, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.